Hello, Grey Couch family. This is Stanley and Petito. And thanks for joining us again. Mm -hmm. And we're continuing our conversations from uh, last week, our decision from last week, where we're talking about uh, secret sources. Mm -hmm. uh, if you didn't see that, you can check that to see how it looked okay. like last week. Uh, and there we talked about how, uh, as crazy as it sounded, love, and not necessarily the secret source, but it's more of friendship. Mm -hmm. But this week, we want to push a little forward and talk more uh, about something else that we think is pretty crucial, and that is the idea of trust. trust. Mm -hmm. Um, you can't have a, a, a thriving relationship without trust mm -hmm. and have a friendship without trust, you know. And and what we're just trying to kind of spotlight here mm -hmm. is the issue that uh, even though the word is the same or the perspectives that we all have of trust, trust means it looks like something different to different people, you know. And uh, that can be a problem. You know, that could be an issue. So what does trust look like to you? <laughs> uh, should I start with a definition? Uh, that, sure. <laughs> okay. So uh, the noun or the verb, trust the noun, confidence in, you have someone that you, you mm -hmm. have confidence in, you learn, and then the the verb, something, the, something that you put your hope and your confidence in, mm -hmm. I guess. So, mm -hmm. uh, that. But that's not even where I'm coming from in terms of how it looks different to different people. Because, mm -hmm. you know, it's like a spectrum. Mm -hmm. You can trust your spouse in certain areas, and then in certain areas, you don't trust them at all. You know, maybe I shouldn't say at all. <laughs> maybe please. Maybe I shouldn't say at all. You trust them little. <laughs> Less than that. So, case in point, uh -huh. I don't trust certain people if they walk into a shoe store, you know. Okay. There is, I don't trust certain people if they walk into certain bookstores. Okay. There is no way they're going to go in and go out empty handed, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. likewise. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I feel like that's, that was the, that's the baby kind of trust, right? Mm -hmm. Although it's it's it feeds into things. Mm -hmm. If, for instance, there's no money and somebody is going to enter a shop, enter a bookstore, and they keep buying things, right? It feeds into ah, uh, can I really trust you that you're gonna you know consider our finances when you're doing X okay. and Y? Okay. But I think that with the um, trust thing when you say you can trust in one area and trust in another and not trust in another area right i mm -hmm. think people sometimes might think oh that's a very um different perspective because when you talk about trust it looks as though you have to give everything right everything and um you know it's interesting because as christians right we do trust god but i also think that as humans then you know how much we say we trust god is going to be dependent on the situation Absolutely. like you can say you trust something until something happens then you now know how much trust you have in the thing uh or not right but i know that um even though, you know, when people say, I trust my spouse completely. And I said, has he been tested in all circumstances? Because there's a trust you can say, you can say with words, like I trust this person. But then there's a trust that comes with the person's actions, right? In that mm -hmm. sense. And so the, the thing now becomes, will your words match the actual emotion or the feeling when something happens, right? And when we talk about something happening, maybe people just might... Um, think to infidelity that was what i was going to say that's, no. that's the biggest one no that's, the, that's people's well not people that's a big thing, yeah you know? yeah uh. but it's not like i always say that infidelity comes in various forms right the one we are most familiar with is maybe with another man or woman but a person can be very not they can be infidel <laughs> if they're not taking care of their family okay yeah okay you know this right okay. um that is there in the bible that a person who doesn't take care of their families was an infidel which is if you're talking about noun and verb right infidel is the noun of infidelity <laughs> <laughs> right so um you know but people think about it like unbeliever but no infidel is the noun of infidelity a person who is not true to something so what i mean we say that because we ourselves have gone through this cycle, cycle as it were you know because when you keep saying the same thing over and over again it's like you know let's come to the bottom of this 
I don't trust you in this area, right? And it was like, what? And I said, yeah, that's the that's the bottom line. Like if you were to say, what is the issue here? Because one cannot keep saying the same thing over and over again and you're just not taking it seriously. Then you are basically diminished. Like we are talking last time about the emotional bank, right? The love bank. There's a way you can reduce your trust bank, honestly. If you say you do something and you don't do it consistently, you're actually reducing the person's, you're actually taking it yeah Mm -hmm. withdrawing from the trust bank and then you know you turn around later and say why can't you trust me no i cannot trust you (laughs) because you have not said what you you have not done what you said you will do right your actions do not match um your words but sometimes i think people take those things for granted right you take for granted that your spouse trust you in everything but if you think about it if you broke it down to its lowest common denominator <laughs> for the mathematician it, it's now like um wow okay you know what what is happening here but i think we can still talk about the overarching thing of you know i trust that the person loves me right so on the basis of that then they should be yes they should um i'm i expect that they will do the right thing by me but if they don't it's also my responsibility to tell them what do you think so uh, i'm thinking about a situation where a couple just have their first kid, their first mm-hmm. baby. Mm-hmm. Uh, none of them have had kids before. Mm-hmm. And for certain reason, no, mm-hmm. the woman doesn't trust that a man can take care of him. It's like, oh, just stay here. It's my baby. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going mm-hmm. to do that. Mm-hmm. You know, that's mm-hmm. that's one area mm-hmm. that, that comes to mind. And, yeah, and I guess sure. like, listen, okay, if you feel more comfortable like this, I'm just going to backpedal and let you do you. You do everything. You then know, you turn around and, and say get... the person is not helping. Right. Well, that's, yeah, true. I mean, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> that happens and i've even had people say to me like when i when i left um i left the baby how oh, many weeks was i gone for eight weeks mm-hmm. i was doing some uh you know internship program and everyone was like what you mean you trust him to take care of it? you mean you trust your husband to take care of the baby i said if you don't take care of him who's going to take care of him or as a you know uh, it's his son if you like let something happen to him then you face my wrath <laughs> you know, but, but you see, in, in that one, I think you are constrained, right? You yeah. are constrained. Mm-hmm. You have an, that wouldn't be your natural go-to. You know, mm-hmm. that, mm-hmm. that's that's that. And then what? Another, another issue where finances. But hold on, issue. were mom and dad around for that one? Do you remember? They were around. Uh-huh. So they helped you small now. More than small. <laughs> <laughs> More than small. <laughs> I mean, mom and dad, please, uh, thank you. Collect it wherever you are. Mom yeah. small. So for the people thinking, eh, did you leave him alone or by himself? No. But I think there's still that perspective yeah. of, you know, you do you think he can really take care of things? And I'm like, look, if... Yeah, like you said constraints right mm-hmm. like do you want to do this or not and if you know you're going to do it then you have to make whatever sacrifices uh, come with it so that was one then the other part would be what finances For finances yeah that's... Uh, people have been jaded in the past so they yeah. show your parents yeah get it in so everybody has one secret bank account i mean like, like i said trust comes in different from some yep. yeah yeah so some people do joint accounts mm-hmm. say, mm-hmm. listen um, with separate accounts and some people you know? are like our money yeah, my money is my money our money is my money <laughs> you know? so that's another level of yeah yeah of, yeah of, of trust mm-hmm, in, mm-hmm. in that but then my, my question on that okay if trust is so important yeah how do you build trust mm-hmm. two ways how do you build trust from the get-go with the first start and also how do you build trust when Over you've time. been yeah also when you've been um let down before when mm-hmm. you've been disappointed before yeah because yeah. I mean, we're human beings. We're going to disappoint each mm-hmm. other. Different levels, you know. Mm-hmm. How, do, how how do you how do you build trust? Um, I think it's you know one at a time. Like yeah. I feel like you 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 know the idea that you can be in control all the time is actually like a fallacy. It's a false idea. But many people still walk around with that, especially you know people of um women, right? But I think like in that case of me leaving right and going away for eight weeks that that was a bank it's like okay let's see are you going to you know deplete this bank to nothingness and then you know then the 
be an issue right in that sense or are you going to take up the responsibility and say you know what they've trusted me to take care of this child and i'm going to do over and above right or my best at um, how i know how to do it and then when it comes to the question of money right this is why i feel like the um, you know the concept of you can own a general bank account right joint for everything and then each person can you know have their own uh individual accounts right that that becomes a way to um kind of you know walk around that mm-hmm. right or you find people who say oh you know drop all the money that may be hard for somebody who has experienced right where everyone was from the same pot and then one person ran away with the money or one person you know totally cleared out their account and the other person had to start you know from from the beginning and honestly speaking um obviously this is my own personal opinion but i feel like in finances nobody should be um the clueless one you see what i'm saying it's everybody's responsibility to look and say how is the family's finances you know the idea that only one person will handle it for me i think you know in as much as it looks on the surface like oh i trust the person i actually think that sometimes that's not being very trusting of your own self yeah okay Okay. Yeah, of your okay. own self because you know what if something happened then you start Stumbling. running around you know what i mean so there, there are certain levels of fiscal i would say ability that we should all have if we are um running a household together now if you are the wife of a person who is a billionaire right as there are many billionaires these days And they've shown you your own goods. You can go ahead and do that. (laughs) (laughs) You have my permission. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Mm -hmm. How do you start small? You know, this this, uh, question, I'm telling you, like I think about it a lot because I also know of situations where for whatever reason, uh, one party has been, I don't want to say cowed, but you've been almost like talked into letting this responsibility be that of one person, right? Like, it's like, you know, I'm the head of the household. So when you earn your salary, you pay it into my account and I give you what you need to run the house. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's a script that's quite popular. Yep, that's That's what I'm saying. Very, very popular. And it hasn't changed. It's still, I mean, like fathers and grandfathers and grandfathers told, okay that was the norm no, so yeah. if you're outside yeah. that yeah. you know but you see i feel like that's a norm that sometimes you know how something is passed on but it's not true because you know i mean except it was a situation where what's the word i'm looking for where the person only had the one job right which obviously maybe that might be now but remember now back in the days mothers will sell things they will do things they will do other things where they can pocket the money and just you know pocket it (laughs) pocket it (laughs) so that they will have their own i think these were ways of them just you know also catering to self, Mm -hmm. right? While recognizing the dynamics of the home is now that women are kind of, I I think more brazen. Like I have my own account, you have your own account and we, you know, contribute or we don't, whatever. Like each family knows what um, works for them. But I think for me, uh, the, the, the sum total is that no one should be physically ignorant, physically Mm -hmm. ignorant. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, we've talked about different experiences with trust, but the idea, though, is that in as much as, you know, you say, oh, um, you're saying I don't trust the person in this area, but then you can show them that you really trust them in other areas, right? And then as you you are showing them, then you start to build um, layers of trust. You start to build on the trust bank in those areas. other areas right and you know soliciting for help because the 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 other the other thing that happens is and then there's this underlying deceit where the person now starts to stash away their own money right and if you then find out it's like oh you deceived me you had all this money you didn't tell me like things like that and so the question is to say hey okay you know i'm going to uh start trusting but it's going to be incremental, mm. right? In that sense. And then one day you find yourself at a point where, okay, honestly, the person has now shown, right? 
that, that they're, they're trustworthy. You know? Yeah, and then you know, okay, of course you can. So the the big question that we have for you is. Mm -hmm. Uh, do you trust your spouse? And mm -hmm. let me let me preface that with that. We said that it's a spectrum, right? Yeah. In what areas are, mm -hmm. do you trust your spouse, and, and I and, and others do you not trust them? And mm -hmm. I mean, I personally, I like to hear. I'm a fairly for the areas that I'm getting A's in, mm -hmm. in my grading. Let me know about it. It will reinforce that that behavior. Mm -hmm. You see, my at least okay. I don't have to figure out this one. I don't know that this one is a winner here, and let me keep on carrying that what task the of, B areas well B you coach the competency <laughs> <laughs> you coach the competency in B areas but you stay in your A area you stay in your strength uh -huh. but really you know and and two just bullet points that we'll do is one start today mm -hmm. you know start today and start small mm -hmm. I think those will be two things that yeah, yeah I, I agree with you but sometimes I feel like okay so start today is real like mm -hmm. if you want to take any step in any direction you have to start you know but for some people even that starting is a hard part because they've been you know Cheated. yeah or hurt so badly so I think in that sense it'll be a question of reframing your perception right mm -hmm. to say why do you think that a person that you're living with will set out to you know Harm you. harm you right in that sense and uh if you look through and you find out the answer you cannot give yourself a reasonable answer then you have to ask yourself what am i doing hmm. right in that sense so those are the hard questions right? hard questions yes but then you have to start from somewhere right little by little yeah so that's what we have for you guys today yeah. Uh, secret sauce number two is build your trust bank. Mm -hmm. Number mm -hmm. one was build your friendship bank. Mm -hmm. And uh, we we'll see you guys next week for another bank. <laughs> bye, bye, for bye, bye for now.